The South Pima Tuning Volunteer Fire Department is making upgrades to its station. Firefighters want to improve accessibility for people with disabilities. It's a big project with a positive effect it'll have on the community. First News reporter Jacob Thompson is live in the newsroom. Yeah, Mandy, the South Pima Tuning Volunteer Fire Department was not required to update the building. They just wanted to comply with Americans with Disability Act, or ADA. But as they got started remodeling, they realized that it was just more than moving a few appliances. We just thought that um, it, it would be the right thing to do. When the South Pima Tuning Volunteer Fire Department found out that the bathrooms in their building needed some updating, they wanted to make it more ADA accessible. They just became apparent that they were um, lacking uh, in some areas and that uh, we wanted to update them not only for ourselves but for the community as well. But the department decided to upgrade more than just the bathrooms. They're replacing the carpeting, painting the rooms, and removing the lips in between the rooms to make it more smooth. They want to show the people of South Pima Tuning the department is there for them. Our goal is to make our facility open and more uh, useful to people from the outside. But the department, volunteers, and community donations are the only way the upgrade is happening. Besides the equipment that was donated, the cost of the project is about $42,000. The, the cost incurred was, was a little bit more than we did expect. The cost of actually getting the permits and uh, you know working through that aspect was uh, a little bit um, getting the architectural drawings. Nagy tells me they're looking to be done with the building by the beginning of September. This will allow the station to hold events and connect with the community. And they'll get to talk to us and realize that you know I'm not just a member here but you know I myself am a mom and I work and I teach. Now, to get back some of the money, they'll be holding their annual car show and fall festival, and this is set for September 28th. Some of the events include as a fire safety instruction, a CPR education, and a touch of fire truck for the kids. But for now, live in the newsroom, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.